We have a robust budget system and a lot of the uh, expenditure allocation that takes place, say, between provinces or between municipalities and across that government departments is driven by very uh, robust uh, formulas. So there's not a lot of discretion in the allocation of expenditure. And there is a great deal of uncertainty in the economy, probably more uncertainty about the future direction of the economy than we have seen in our lifetimes. And to the extent that the budget depends on revenue and revenue de depends on the, the path of economic growth, um, everybody is struggling to predict what will happen in the next few years, not only the government. That's on the one hand. On the other hand, the thing that we do control is expenditure. And the budget in past years, when the budget system was designed, the idea was that the path of expenditure put down for the next three years in what we call the medium term expenditure framework uh, was supposed to be um, reflective of a real uh, uh, estimate of the cost of implementing government's program. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, over the last 10 years, but particularly over the last five years, I must say, government's program has been increasing conflicted within itself. There are many different policies moving in many different directions. Yeah. Um, and there's a lot of uncertainty, not only about the economy, but about what government's policy program is. And in a context of that uncertainty, the budget has become less and less credible, not because there's a, a dearth of technical expertise in Treasury or something like that, but because government's program is more and more confused. And so Treasury has increasingly resorted to uh, using the budget, not as a, a good estimate of how much are we going to spend in the next three years, but as a negotiating position. And a good example of this is exactly where you started with the wages. Uh, the number that was put in the budget for the wage increase this year was zero. So the budget was constructed on the assumption that there would be a zero increase wages for all public servants implying in this high inflation environment a very large shock to their incomes. And I don't think that was ever realistic or ever credible. And that's the reason why we're now left with this large apparent shock on the budget numbers.